When we talk about speaker drivers, we often throw terms around like XMAX, FS, QTS, etc. You may have also heard terms like overhung and underhung, referring to voice coils, and maybe you didn't know exactly what that meant. Most traditional drivers utilize overhung voice coils, and to be clear, we're mostly talking about woofers here, because they require the larger cone movements that make this topic relevant. So what is an overhung voice coil? To explain that, let's take a look at a speaker driver. The speaker cone is attached to the voice coil former, which is the cylinder that the voice coil wire is wound onto. The more common overhung voice coil is longer and sits in the magnetic gap of the speaker, something like this. This light blue disc of metal is called the front plate and it's where the magnetic force is focused. The area of strongest force is represented by these light blue oval lines. As the voice coil and cone make large movements to reproduce bass, the coil moves further and further out of the strongest part of the magnetic field. The coil slightly hangs over that focused area of magnetic intensity, thus the term overhung. So we can see that during larger excursions, the long voice coil moves further away from the most concentrated part of the magnetic field which therefore exerts less control over the voice coil and along with it, you could argue, slightly less accurate music reproduction. If you wanted to improve on this, you could make the magnet structure much longer so the coil would always be in the strongest part of the magnetic field throughout most of its movement. Some subwoofer drivers do this by utilizing double and triple stacked magnets, but magnets are expensive, usually the most expensive part of a speaker driver. So in order to get a similar effect, speaker designers sometimes will make the voice coil shorter but larger in diameter, and the magnet structure may be a little bit longer. This is called an underhung voice coil because it does not hang over the area of the most focused magnetic force. On an underhung voice coil, as the coil moves the cone through larger excursions, we can see that the coil is still almost completely under the control of the most focused area of magnetic force. We call the force that the magnet structure exerts over the voice coil its BL, which is often expressed in Tesla meters. Here's how we get that BL number. BL equals B, which is the flux density of the magnet, its strength, times L, which is the length of the voice coil wire in the magnetic gap, which is what the magnetic force is acting upon. Since on an underhung voice coil, the magnet structure has greater control over the voice coil since more of the coil is within the strongest area of magnetic force, this can yield more accurate music during larger excursions. Well, that's three minutes of speaker building. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.